Cairo's Tahrir Square has been the scene of mass celebration as Egyptians voted in their first freely elected president. But there are worries about how much power the military caretaker government will be prepared to hand over to the new leader. Middle East correspondent Anne Barker reports. The crowds in Cairo's Tahrir Square went wild as the news was announced. For days, Mohamed Morsi's supporters kept vigil, convinced he'd won, but fearful the ruling military council would deny him the presidency. After a three-day delay, the jubilant crowd celebrated their historic vote for change. It was really extremely happy and was like a big surprise and big happiness. It's the end of an era for the most populous Arab country, but the narrow win has left millions of Egyptians in despair, nervous about what an Islamist leader will mean for their future. The election result would have been unimaginable even 18 months ago. The Muslim Brotherhood for decades was banned under Hosni Mubarak's regime. Mohammed Morsi himself has spent time in jail. Now the 60-year-old US-trained engineer is Egypt's first freely elected president. But he's vowed to rule for all Egyptians, including Christians and secular voters. To everybody, I would like to say thank you for your choice. Thanks to your and God's will, I am president for all Egyptians, wherever they may be. It's unclear, though, how much power the new president will have. The ruling military council just this month gave itself sweeping new powers and curtailed those of the president, meaning Mohamed Morsi may in reality have to answer to the generals. Anne Barker, ABC News.